Well, greetings, vinyl community. I'm sorry it's been a while since I made a video. Um, I didn't mean to be incommunicado for a protracted time, but uh, I was pretty sick for quite a while and uh, didn't want to make videos where I had to pause every 15 seconds to have a coughing fit. And I'm hoping that that's not going to happen now, so we'll just see how it goes. Um, I did um, still manage to get out now and then to the record stores, and I made one particularly good score. A lot of records that I'm not going to show this time, just in the interest of keeping this brief, I'm going to save them uh, for the next one. But I have some other uh, recent finds to show, and I also wanted to acknowledge the fact that you amazing folks out there have pushed me over the 1,000 subscriber mark, which I find amazing because when I started this and I started seeing, oh, people have subscribed to me, I, <laughs> and, wow, why would anyone do that? <laughs> but uh, it's very cool. Um, and of course, I have, since I, I started approaching a thousand, I've been watching the numbers go up and sometimes it goes down, you know, usually it'd go up, you know, up by three and then down by two or something like that. And uh, it, it kept approaching 1,000. I was just waiting for, like, the odometer to tick over. And it finally did. And um, thanks very much. I've never solicited subscribers, you know. I always hate that routine of, hey, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It sounds very corny, like you're putting on a, a professional show, which I certainly am not. But uh, thanks very much for uh, watching this drill. Um, so, what have I got to show? I was just up in San Francisco uh, a few nights ago and found something on my want list. This is the 1979 album Movies by Holger Chukai, the bassist and shortwave radio player from Cannes. Uh, in the, the later days of Can, he sort of gave up the bass and passed that on to Roscoe G. And he just uh, added, found sounds to the mix using his shortwave radio. And that's partially what he does here. He constructs most of the compositions himself, and it's largely uh, built on sampling a very early example of sampling. This album always gets compared to uh, My Life in the Bush of Ghosts by Brian Eno and David Byrne. Um, this one came first. I did have somebody on Facebook try to tell me, yeah, but Eno and Byrne were recording their album first, but they had to change things around, and I don't think the timeline that person had was correct. I think that this really is pretty um, unprecedented in the way. Uh, obviously, people have used found sounds and samples and in uh, musique concrète applications for for decades uh, before this came out. But still, this really sounds unique, and it's very wacky. It's very fun album. Um, it's got interesting grooves to it. It does groove very much. The first track is uh, quite dancey and very fun and silly. Cool in the pool. Um, there's also a silly video for that that you can find on YouTube, I bet, if you look around. Um, and Holger Chukai performs most of the music himself. He's credited with words, vocals, guitar, keyboards, and synthesizer, short waves, bass. And he's joined by the other three classic members of Can on the second track. There are only four tracks. Second track on side one, a 13-minute long track titled, Oh Lord, Give Us More Money. Um, he also has Rebop Kwaku Ba, who... Uh, was a later member of Can, and of course was a member of Traffic and played here and there and in numerous interesting places. Uh, he plays not percussion, but chicken organ on the single track, Cool in the Pool. Oh, 
that's it. This is one I've been looking for and was really delighted to uh, have it turn up in the bins, along with another uh, bit of Kraut Rock related ephemera, or no, no, it's not ephemera, it's very important, it's very substantial. It's a double LP, it's so substantial. Edgar Froza of Tangerine Dream and his album Ages. This is his fourth or fifth album, I'm not certain. This is recorded in 1977 and released in 78. Um, it's very much, as you might expect, in the, the typical vein of Tangerine Dream. All keyboards, there's a lot of... Well, that was the first coughing fit edited out, so... Um, what was I saying? Um, keyboards, Mellotron, the, the very classic Berlin sound of Tangerine Dream. And you'll notice down here we've got the, um, the inner gatefold picture from uh, Edgar Furza's second album, Epsilon in Malaysian Pale. Um, is that, that is his second, I think, yeah. Uh, and this is a photograph of a very, very young... Jerome Frizza, who later joined his dad in the family business, and uh, whose picture adorns all the old uh, Tangerine Dream and Edgar Frizza albums. Interesting titles. Uh, definitely in the WTF category is Knights of Automatic Women. Okay. Uh, Ode to Granny A. Pizarro and Atahualpa, Golgotha and the Circle Closes, Metropolis, Era of the Slaves, Tropic of Capricorn, Edgar Furza, Ages. <laughs> tribute album on the Cleopatra label, <coughs> excuse me, which exists largely to make tribute albums. This is actually a vinyl reissue um, from oh, just 2022. I didn't know this had come out. This actually originally came out in 1996 on CD with different packaging and a different title. This is To Cry You a Song, a tribute album to Jethro Tull. So there's the uh, the CD edition. This uh, vinyl version is uh, it was released on a couple of different colors. I think there's a red vinyl edition. This is the gold vinyl version, which happened to be on sale through uh, Cleopatra's mail order. So I stumbled into that and uh, snagged it. So the performers on here include. Uh, several members or former members of Jethro Tull, uh, all of the original members from the This Was album appear except for Ian Anderson. Uh, he does not um, perform on here, but several tracks feature the remaining three, uh, Mick Abrahams on guitar, the late Glenn Cornick on bass, and Clive Bunker on drums. Uh, Glenn Cornick wasn't late when... Uh, they recorded this, just so there's no misunderstanding. Um, there's also a version of Living in the Past performed by Keith Emerson uh, with Abrahams, Cornick, and Bunker. Uh, there are a number of 90s neo-prog bands performing. Magellan and Echo Lynn are on here. Roy Harper performs Up the Pool. John Wetton sings Nothing is Easy, again accompanied by um, Abraham's Bunker and Cornick, plus Ian MacDonald on flute and Phil Manzanero on guitar, along with uh, Robert Berry on keyboards. So, uh, also performances by Leif Sorby and Tempest were uh, closely associated with uh, some of the folks on this production. And finally, the, uh, the original title track, Life is a Long Song, before it was changed to simply A Tribute to Jethro Tull, 
Life is a Long Song is performed by Dave and Matt Pegg. Of course, Dave Pegg, the uh, bassist for Jethro Tull from 1979 on into the 90s, and his son, Matt. So, there we go, another double LP. by Paul Ueda. This is a really interesting uh, fusion of um, avant prog rock with traditional Japanese sounds. The album is titled Yoshitsune and it is on the Dur et Du label and is on this lovely blue vinyl with a uh, sort of samurai-faced crab there. There's a, a legend that the, the Japanese fishermen threw back all the crabs that had a samurai face on them, and so there was um, uh, evolution. Uh, the crabs were artificially selected to have um, more and more lifelike faces on their carapace, and uh, this actually is total BS, but it's a good legend. <clears throat> This is very frantic. It's definitely not for everyone. The instrumental accompaniment is, is something that would make, uh, I think, an album in its own right. And then the very uh, keening Japanese uh, ceremonial vocal style and the Japanese instruments laid on top just make this a very dense and unique listen. This is actually, I think... Um, uh, volume 2 of uh, a series of collaborations they've done. I've um, not, uh, not owned the first one. <laughs> Next, from 1979, um, Azure Door by Renaissance. This is from their transitional period when they were, um, they still had the full five-piece band. After this, they slimmed down to just a trio. But um, on both this and the following trio album, Camera Camera, uh, Renaissance was making a transition from their uh, prog rock sound of the classic era to a more uh, concise and pop-based sound, and this definitely has elements uh, of both. It's got a foot in, in uh, I, uh, one foot in the water and one foot on the shore, so to speak. The uh, opening track is my favorite on here. To me, it sounds somewhat like Gentle Giant. The track is uh, Jekyll and Hyde. It's got uh, a, it, it's very upbeat. You know, it could be a, I don't know if it was released as a single, I've never seen it released as a single, but it sounds like it could be, and yet it's got a twisty rhythm and um, definite prog uh, vestiges remaining. <laughs> Finally, a very familiar album, uh, one you'll all know, Surrealistic Pillow by Jefferson Airplane, their second album, and first with Grace Slick. And this, strangely enough, was the only Jefferson, al Jefferson Airplane album I still didn't own on vinyl. Um, 
And of course, it's an iconic album. Uh, it's the album with their biggest hits. It's got White Rabbit, it's got Somebody to Love, but it's never been my favorite. I prefer the albums that came after this one. The next album, after Bathing at Baxter's, is my absolute favorite. Crown of Creation is brilliant. Uh, Volunteers is great. After that, they had a big personnel change, and uh, the albums that followed were a little bit patchier, but still, this is uh, an inarguable classic. Um, it's an album I see around a lot, but I, I've been holding out to find a copy with a nice cover that didn't cost too much, and this was it. It's not an original, it's uh, an orange label, but it is thick vinyl. It's not one of those wibbly-wobbly Dynaflex pressings, so I think that means this must be a... Um, a late 60s pressing, probably from about 69 or so, because in the 70s, you know, the, they had those paper-thin RCA pressings that you could flop around and they go wobble, 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 and you can sing Timey Kangaroo Down Sport over it. So, that's it. Thanks for watching. Be well. I will talk with you again soon. Bye-bye for now.